Mario. Hello, buddy. This is your one only beloved officer, Simi7. And into this video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at something really, really cool for MSP. So, you guys, let's just get started starting with the video. So, guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another awesome, epic, amazing banger video. So, today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top five best working mods slash add ons for MCBE 1.16. So, you guys, let's just get started sharing this video guys so before we do start this video i do want to apologize real quick i know it's not something really to necessarily apologize about but just in case you guys do have some issues hearing me uh just, if you guys don't know if you guys are having a hard time just uh first off i do apologize if my if i do sound a little bit congested and nasally and stuff and if i if my speech is a little bit off into this video i just i do apologize i mean i'm pretty sure i don't even need to explain why y'all probably already know but yeah, guys, I do kind of apologize, but yeah, man, let's just get started straight up on this video. So, guys, before we do start this video, let's see if we can hit an amazing like goal of 69 likes on this video, guys. If we can hit 69 likes on this video, that honestly means the world to me. So, let's let me try and smash that like button, guys. Also, guys, if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't even subscribed, come on, man, what are you doing with your life? You gotta subscribe to the channel for some epic, amazing banger content, guys. I promise you guys will not regret it whatsoever. With that being said, without further ado, let's just get started straight up in the video. All right, so you guys can see we're going to be taking a look at number five in today's video. And actually, I'm going to actually do the count. I'm actually going to count down from one to five instead of five to one. So, yeah, that way that way I just don't get confused because usually whenever I end up making a top five video, I end up messing up with the whole one through five numbers. And just, yeah, I mean, it's really it's, it's a little complicated if I do say so myself. So, yeah, I'm probably not even going to bother explaining. Y'all probably don't even care. But, yeah, man, let's just get started straight into the video. So, guys. Coming up at number five, we have the Minecon. The no, no, no. This isn't the Minecon. This is actually the the new mobs for the 1.16 update that was uh, that was announced at Minecon. Now, not all of these are official, and not all of these are guaranteed to come in the new update. Uh, but many of them are, you know, could be coming in a future update. But it was a these were the mobs that were uh, an option for us all to vote. So we all essentially were able to vote for these mobs. So yeah guys uh guys also guys i i don't know what it is in today's video if i am uh you know kind of like blurry with and stuff with my commentary i do apologize i'm like really tired into this video i'm probably not even gonna cut this video or do much editing in this video so yeah guys please do kind of bear with me but yeah man um so yeah guys this is how the mod does look pretty pretty cool stuff we have three different mods that has been mobs that have been implemented in this mob we have the glow squid we have the isolager and we have the i think it's the blue shroom or something like that so essentially what the blue shroom does is it's like a yellow cow with a dandelion on it. It's basically essentially has the same function as a mushroom. Uh, the only difference is whenever this cow does walk, it apparently leaves a trail of dandelion flowers. Um, not necessarily the most useful in my opinion and personally something I definitely look forward to not seeing come up in Minecraft. And then we do have, of course, the glow squid, which is one of the most pop, which obviously got the most votes, which means it is confirmed to be coming in the 1.17 update i believe i'm not sure if it's going to be coming in the 1.17 update but it is confirmed to be released into minecraft sometime in the future so yeah guys we do plan on getting that and then we do have the and uh, essentially what this squid does do is it basically glows in the water it's just basically a retexture of a normal squid just with different textures and i guess that looks a little bit cool here and there but the only problem is it doesn't actually glow which is kind of stupid and it's almost essentially like a pretty much a useless mob but I, then again i did hear stuff about the developers uh, potentially adding a function for the glow squid where you can actually uh, milk the glow squid and uh, you can actually use that so yeah that's actually pretty cool and then of course we do have the isolager which essentially throws ice at you you find this in mountains and they're extremely hostile and very deadly so you do want to be careful when you do encounter that and that's another thing that you're going to have to worry about whenever you are climbing up the mountain but then again guys let's be honest when are we ever going to be climb climbing mountains in minecraft so yeah those are essentially the three new mobs um, and of course the glow squid is confirmed to be in the official version of minecraft but this mod lets you play with the two other mobs that might not be coming into minecraft but then again we never know but yeah man that's pretty much that for the number uh, one list on the mod let's get started on to our second mod on the list all right so coming up at number two we have this cyber gui looking thing so this one's not too much of a crazy mod i figured i'd just show you guys this in today's video uh, of course these aren't like amazing amazing bots uh, but these are kind of like the best that i could find for this week so you guys kind of bear with me 
Uh, but yeah, man, this is this is how this mod does look. Pretty bit of cool stuff. Uh, it's not anything too much of a crazy mod. Honestly, I shouldn't have even added this mod on my top five list. Um, it, it, I don't know. It's just it's okay. It's still definitely a cool mod, and I I do highly. Uh, I mean, I don't really highly advise, but I think y'all should definitely go and check this out. And um, yeah, definitely go check out the creator as well. I'll leave a link in the description below to the download links as well as the creators if you guys want to go and check them out. But yeah, that is pretty much this mod. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you know, this mod doesn't really change anything. It does have a cool, unique function that I did notice in this texture pack. You you will actually notice whenever you do go into your normal survival world or creative or whatever. Whenever you do hop on our world, you will notice the hop bar actually has a little bit of a weird selector thing. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but essentially this thing is actually animated, so it's actually moving. So I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. I don't really see that in other, uh, you know, like texture packs or research packs or mods. Uh, but this, in this one, it seems to be like animated or something. It's not nothing useful or anything, but I mean, I figured it is kind of cool. But yeah, man, that's pretty much that. Let's get started on to our next mod on the list. All right, so coming up at number three, we have the the mobs indicator mod add-on. So essentially what this does is it basically adds a little red exclamation mark above all of the hostile mobs in Minecraft. So that is literally all you guys need to know. So pretty much every hostile mob in the current that currently exists in Minecraft as of right now uh, will have a red exclamation mark on top of it. So that's uh, just to let you know that there is a mob that is dangerous and for whatever reason this is going to prevent you from uh, you know getting this mob uh, you know a hostile mob mixed up with a passive mob so you won't accidentally kill the passive mod and then again it can save you in many PvP situations. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Pretty cool stuff. Um, if you guys want, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. I mean, I'm obviously going to leave a link in the description below for all these mods. But yeah, I figured it was a pretty cool mod overall. Um, of course, also something weird I found with this mod is the exclamation mark is actually three. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. I mean, it's, I don't know. But yeah, that's it's a pretty cool mod overall. It's something I can definitely see myself using in a survival world or something like that. Uh, you know, so that way I can actually know that there's actually a mob near me and somehow not mistake it for, I don't know, like a zombie head or something. But yeah, that's pretty much that mod. Let's get started on to our number four mod on the list. Alright, so coming up at number four, we have the more nether mobs variant mod for MCB. So yeah, guys, uh, MCB is slash bedrock edition. So yeah, guys, this essentially, what this mod does do is it essentially adds 14 different new mobs in the my in your Minecraft uh world and uh this will this is mainly these mobs are mainly meant for the nether they're specifically designed for the nether but i mean you can also obtain these spawn eggs on creative mode so you can just spawn them anywhere you guys want so it's a pretty cool mod overall and i figured you guys would like this i have actually previously reviewed this on my channel so if you guys want to go check out that uh a video out to the to uh, review on this particular mod i'll leave a link in the description below to a video that i did make uh previously on this mod so i've already actually reviewed this mod but i figured i'd put this on the list on the list because it's a pretty cool mod and it's something i definitely do see myself using on my own survival modded survival uh, series let's play and also guys if you guys want me to make a modded survival series uh let's play then definitely let me know in the comment section below it's something i've been taking very much into consideration i know a lot of people have been telling me to do let's plays uh, me personally, I would like to do something a little bit different, add a little bit of spice to my Let's Play by at making it a modded survival series. So yeah, I figure, and some of the mod, uh, mods that I, you know, I do review will be obviously in my modded survival um, series. That being said, if I plan on doing it, I don't know. But if you guys want me to do it, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, man, that's pretty much that. Let's get started on to our next mod on the list. All right, so last but not least, we have a really cool mod, actually. This is actually called the Core Vanilla UI Concept Mod slash Add-on. So essentially what this does is it changes your main menu in Minecraft and makes it look almost something more like... It almost gives it the new Minecraft theme in it. It kind of makes it almost look like, I guess, like Minecraft Dungeons and stuff. I don't know. It's a really cool mod. Y'all will have to download this one for yourself. Y'all definitely have to download this mod. It's one of my favorite mods. And I've also reviewed this on my channel. So if you guys want, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to go and download this. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the video. I just wanted to show you guys some, you know, a few mods. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't really have a video idea today. I do have some other videos coming out soon. So guys, do kind of bear with me. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I do kind of apologize for the lack of uploads recently on my channel. I did start uploading again. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to go check out any previously previous videos that I've done, uh, maybe that you guys might have missed. Maybe you guys can, uh, you know, definitely go check those out. 
and some support would be appreciated. I think I had one video that did bad, but uh, I'm actually going to take that down uh, just because it hasn't, I don't really see much engagement. If you guys don't know, uh, you know, like, I don't know, like, it, I, I know, I don't know if you guys are going to necessarily like what I'm saying this, but I will, if a video doesn't do good, then I will most likely take it down. Uh, but of course, I'm not going to completely take it down. Like, I'll somehow make it, like, unlisted or something. So that's that way, those of you guys who like the video or something, uh, like, if you, if you guys want to, you know, like, see that mod or something, and if you wanted to have that saved or something, then y'all can, you know, access that video and download, uh, you know, and just do all that kind of stuff. So usually I'll make it unlisted if a video ever does do bad or if I ever end up plan on uh, removing it, then I most likely will unlist it for those of you guys that have liked it or somehow have it saved uh, to your watch later or something like that. So yeah, uh, just in case you guys wanted to know, I'm going to start doing this from now on. I do uh, previously started deleting my videos, but I figured I'd try to do something a little bit different and something that might be helpful to some people. I know a lot of people won't find this useful, but some people might actually find this useful because I do find that very irritating. And I don't know, it's just something that came in my mind. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, it was kind of extra, like really no one asked for it, but yeah man uh, I, who cares yeah man hope you guys did enjoy this video i want to thank you for joining you guys for watching i'll see you guys later peace out guys see you Bye bye